And I'd like to uh, ask my co-chair and uh, Stacy to uh, come and join me for the closing. Thank you. We're just going to wrap up with a few closing thoughts and uh, before lunch. Um, so I, I found myself, first of all, it was a great conference, uh, great to see changes year to year. And uh, reflecting back in the last two days, I found myself thinking about this word, which is, I think it might be the most overused used word in oncologic advertising these days, which is precision. Uh, every medical center is a precision oncology center. It's the it's in the uh, sort of the byline for our cancer center. But but if we uh, this is from the uh, Oxford English Dictionary for the for the English colleagues here. But the precision is is an act of dividing. And so if you look at the progress over the past few years, it's it's been in division, understanding uh, subtypes of this cancer and uh, going deep and um, so that's provided a lot of hope for our patients and families here in certain areas. And in, uh, I think, thinking ahead, the challenge for the scientists here is to continue to uh, follow those tenets and to look for areas that are not described, areas that for our patients are places where we don't have new things, and look to define, uh, define new areas, find new places where we can provide insight into therapy. Um, so uh, be precise, be deep in your thinking, think about collaborating, working together, and I'm, uh, I'm hopeful about what we'll find and see that's new next year. So thank you all, it's been a real pleasure, and uh, we'll look forward to your comments, and now, on. Thanks. Uh, my, my clinical uh, perspective is that this is so completely different to how it was even two, three, four years ago. Uh, I've been treating cholangiocarcinoma now for, for 17 years, and you can imagine in that time, a lot has changed. It's very rewarding to see record amount of research uh, going on and increasing year by year. I think the clinical environment is changing rapidly, and we need to make sure that uh, we keep up with it and lead it. Uh, and one of the real strengths, I think, uh, was to see increased engagement with industry, and I think that's been a very good initiative. Um, I, I, if I can just tell you, when uh, we were trying to get the ABCO2 study up and running, uh, I'd sent about 10 or 12 letters of interest to different uh, industry partners and consistently had a no, and the theme was, this is not in our strategic development plan, don't want to invest, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, really welcome the uh, in engagement from industry to be able to uh, develop and, and, and look for uh, new treatments. Uh, I absolutely agree with Aram that uh, research, as uh, Gassan said last night, needs to go two ways, the clinical research to the, based on the lab and back to the lab. And I think we need to keep that dialogue. Uh, we need to be thinking, and, and certainly in Manchester now, we have our basic scientists also uh, is able to attend our multidisciplinary team. I'd also, as a clinician, like to very much thank the foundation. Uh, I'd like to thank the foundation for convening us all here to be able to have the opportunity to, uh, to bounce ideas off, to uh, see what each other is doing, to set up new collaborations. Uh, I think having the patients and caregivers here really is unique. And I think even for those of us who see patients every day, uh, seeing patients in a different setting, in an advocacy setting, seeing uh, together with, with your families uh, is humbling, but also rewarding. So thank you so much. Uh, and I would like to encourage the, the, um, the foundation to continue their great work uh, in all of the various projects that they're doing. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, all the patients who did share their stories. They're not always easy to, to share, uh, but I think it really did anchor uh, the whole of the last three days. So uh, with that, I'm going to thank you.
they said all the things that I would have said. And I just want to say a, a couple more things. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure to work with Aram and Juan. Um, they have been generous and gracious. And it is a, I, I know um, we, it's always n nice to hear that we're doing work, but we could not do this work without the support of the medical community. We just simply could not do it. And uh, they have volunteered an enormous amount of time to pull this together. So I just, uh, we are so grateful for their leadership in this conference and, um, and, and for their leadership over the years. It's just been amazing to us. So I just want to thank them with a couple small gifts from the foundation for their work. Thank you very much. Um, I, I hope that the, the patients that are here, and I know that most of them are in the patient lounge watching the live uh, stream, but I hope that you've, what you have seen here has just encouraged you and given you hope and inspired you. There are so many things happening, and they're happening at, at such a fast rate. We're so excited to see the results of this conference. We hope that the scientists, just as Aram said, that that it's, this has sparked new ideas for you, that you've been able to meet with new colleagues, that you've formed new collaborations. That's what we really want to see happen. And that you, if you have um, uh, suggestions or things that you would like to see happen or things that you would like to see improved in the conference, please feel free to, to uh, let us know. And also, um, uh, the, you know, I, so many people are so kind to me at this conference, but. And, and I, I, I really appreciate that, but there are so many people who make this happen. And I just, I just want to acknowledge a couple of people who um, have volunteered their time and who make all this happen. I've, I've already thanked our nursing advisory board, but Sue Aquisto, um, would you still stand, Sue? Sue has done an enormous amount of work and all of the nurses who serve on that committee. And all the all the staff, thank you so much. Um, I want to thank Melinda. Melinda is amazing, and um, she, we just could not do it without her. Uh, Sarah Bennett, Lisa Crane, Barbara Dupont, uh, Renuka Iyer, who has uh, just helped in an enormous amount of ways beside being on our medical advisory board. Larry Kekel, Wendy Kovitz, Lisa Layton, Andy Macias, Judith McBrien, Rob McNogna. Rick Pollock, Matt Reedy, Lauren Rosati, Kathy Wagner, um, and my sweet little redheaded son who's been running around here like a crazy man. You have, you have made his head this big. He, he, he will never recover. Um, and, and thank you for being so sweet with him. Um, the person who needs to be thanked the most is not here because she's helping a patient. Um, but uh, Donna has... Um, I, I don't even know that I could express what Donna has done since she has come. She is, uh, sh she gave me a, a gift for Christmas. She sent me a card and she sent me a book. And uh, it was Pollyanna. And she said, thank you for being her Pollyanna. I, I tend to be pretty optimistic. And, um, and, and I was, as I was preparing this, I was thinking, gosh, if, if I am her Pollyanna, she is my Atticus Finch from To Kill a Mockingbird. She is as steady and honest and forthright as you could be, and she has just made it fantastic. So, again, I've got all the pathos and none of the ethos and the logos, ah! But I just, uh, I just wanted to tell you how, how blessed we feel to have had you all here. Please, again, put on your calendars January 31st to February 2nd next year, also, please remember that World Cholangiocarcinoma Day is February the 15th, and you're going to see a lot of information coming out. There are lots of things that you can do as scientists, as clinicians, as patients and caregivers. There are lots of things we can do. Um, uh, just a couple other things. <coughs> we, um, I wanted to thank the person. I wanted to thank PCORI and the NIH for the grants that they gave us and all of our sponsors. We're so grateful. And I also, I just, I wanted to thank, there was an anonymous person who donated their frequent flyer miles so a patient and a caregiver could come here. 
what a, what just a generous, kind thing to do. Um, next year, we have a couple things that we need to do a little bit better. And one is we need to have uh, regulatory involved. They need a seat at the table here. We've kind of got all the other legs on the table. And so uh, we'll be working on that. And if you have any insights or anything you'd like to pass on to us, that would be helpful for us. I would tell you if you have colleagues that aren't here that need to be, please invite them. Uh, you will see the, the, the webcast from Wednesday will be up. Send that to your patients. Let them see what's happening. Let them come and feel what's happening here. There's a little bit of magic happening on this weekend every year in Salt Lake City. And, um, and with that, I would just say thank you. Really, thank you for being here. Thank you all again. There is, um, I think, lunch just outside. The conference is concluded. We'll look forward to seeing you all next year and really looking forward to your feedback about the conference, ways to make it better. Um, so thank you all so much for your dedication and time, and uh, we'll see you next year at the same, same time.